Okay, this how-to video is going to describe about how to set up the DRC markers. So on every design you'll obviously get some DRC errors and if we kind of zoom in here you can kind of see some DRC errors. Now I can kind of hover over these and get an idea of actually what the DRC marker is going to, going to tell me. But with the size of this marker and the display of this marker, um, you've got two ways to control this. So we'll start off with the default colours. So if you get a um, display colour visibility, you'll see under the stack up tab there's a DRC marker code for each individual layer and we can do all the electrical layers and then obviously the, the solder masks, the paste masks and then any package DRC errors if we've got placement issues. The size of the DRC marker is controlled under the setup design parameters tab and you can see under the display tab there's a DRC marker size that we can kind of specify a marker size. So let's make that four millimeters for example. You can kind of see the size of this increase. And then there's another setting that we can do um, which will actually fill the DRC marker. So if we go to um, setup user preferences what we can do is we can actually just type in here DRC, we'll include summary in the search, and then it starts to show what other codes we have or, or text with the DRC in the search filter. So there's one called DRC, display DRC fill, we'll hit on the value, we'll apply it, and OK, and then what you'll see is you'll then get a filled DRC mark. Now the final thing with DRC markers is obviously having a DRC on, every, on a design is not good. The ideal scenario is that when you go to the kind of the the, the display status menu, what you really, really want is kind of a, a zero DRC at the end of a design. Now in certain instances, you're not gonna get that. There are some DRCs, for example, where you've got a component and they're hanging a board, or or maybe it's something that's that's meeting a requirement and production's approved it, but you don't wanna kind of have it as a valid DRC marker. So what you can do is you can actually wave the DRC marker. So if we go to the display wave DRC command, and then we'll do a wave, um, and if we look in the options menu, we've got an option to add a comment. So we can then, um, let's do a temp group, and we'll window select some DRCs. Let's get all of these DRCs. Uh, and then we'll complete that. And then what we'll do is we'll add a comment. Um, component overhangs. PCB edge. We've done that. The DRC markers go away. If we then go to the display status menu, what happens is that I've now got an up-to-date DRC, which is what we really, really want. We've got kind of some, some wave DRCs here. Now there's 126, but we can click on the checkbox and actually get a list of where all those DRC markers are. And what you'll find is there's the comment as the reason why we, we kind of made them a wave DRC.